All right, guys, it is weekend update time. Uh, the Regal, I've got the dash. Uh, I got it trim painted today uh, through a spray gun. I had it custom mixed. Uh, I was having a little trouble with it drying last week, uh, so I ended up wiping the whole dash back off with a reducer and I reshot it again today. Uh, so let's kind of see how that goes. I put those parts, I did the kick panels and the little pieces of extensions that go up in the corners of the dash. So anyway, they're trim painted a tan color and I put them in my shed because my shed is basically my redneck bake booth this time of year. Uh, it is hot in there. So anyway, I'll check them tomorrow and hopefully they're dry this time. Uh, in other news, the 55, actually when I got done spraying the dash, I decided to go ahead and do some painting on this as well. Uh, it was a decent day today. Uh, it, it was around 90 on temp outside, so it was pretty hot. Uh, I already have my lights off. I'd already went in the house and was done, but I thought I would come out and do a video. But Anyway, I resprayed the whole firewall area and the jam area and the A-pillar here. Uh, I've got it taped off right there where the factory puts it together, uh, so it's a perfect uh, break for your tape line. It'll be virtually undetectable. Uh, but anyway, I resprayed everything today and did not get one run or one sag. And I did it differently than I normally do, so... That high solids clear has always been tough for me to shoot through the years. Uh, you know, in the summer you use it like a slow or a medium and it, it just, it slows the dry down so it kind of sags on me. And uh, that clear is also, I call it creeper clear because it'll creep up on you. Uh, you'll, you'll spray it and it'll be kind of rough looking and then your, your first thought is to go back and hit it real quick again. And that's that's what you that's when you mess up, and I just always seem to do that. Uh, so what I did this time was uh, I used a fast activator in the clear, and uh, I just went at went at it, and uh, I wasn't real thorough on the coats, like you'd see a little dry spray here and there. Oh, that was awesome. Yeah, we got a big storm rolling in. I hope that comes out on the video because uh, that was freaking awesome. I might have crapped myself. But anyway, uh, so anyway, I put the fast activator in it. I got four coats on it, not one run, not one sag. I do have, there's a couple little small areas that have a little bit of dry spray, but it's really, really light. Uh, but what I really wanted to flow out was the tow boards and that all down there, you know, below the curve, all of that is slick. Uh, even my jam areas are slick, but I just got a little bit up in on these edges here. Uh, but I'm going to color sand and buff all the top in this main forward section of the firewall anyway. Because, uh, you know, when the hood's up at a show, I want, I want that to look spot on. Here comes the rain. Uh, but anyway, got it all redone. No runs, no sags. I'm happy. So I did the, uh, the very last coat, the fourth coat. I did it as a flow coat. I really tried to make it flow out. Uh, so I did kind of hit it and then went back over it, but it was so dang hot in here with that fast activator Just didn't let it set long enough to get a clear or a run started so Haven't done anything to the chassis I mean I really haven't done anything to the 55 in a couple of months because I've been messing with that Regal because I got to have a daily driver and uh, I have got to do an engine in this truck pretty soon. It is knocking on the bottom end It's kind of light but you can hear it after it's warmed up and it's taken a quarter week of oil but uh Anyway, if I never get the dash paint to, to get the right color and work out, then I'll be able to put the dash in it and I can start driving it. I've got the hood out here in the fence area. I just need to get help and get it put on. But anyway, guys, that's a pretty quick update. And uh, that's it. I guess I'm going to ride out the storm.